Welcome to this tier list, everyone rating some of the most well-known games on the N64. Where am I? What are we doing? Is it time to go home yet? I'm hungry. Shut up, Joe. You're always complaining. Now we have a job to do, so focus and don't fall asleep. Now, now you two stop bickering. We got a very important job to do, so let's jump right into it. Mario Kart goat tier, obviously. No arguments from me. It's probably the best in 64 game ever. And the first installment of what turned out to be a wonderful franchise. I happen to agree with this clown for once. I remember playing this with George Bush and his dad back in the day. In my spare time, I used to run around the kitchen pretending I had three red shells attached to my backside. That's really creepy, Joe, but Super Mario 64, I gotta say, another goat contender. It's absolute trash, man, really overrated. In fact, it's probably worse than Donald's hairstyle. Absolute nonsense, it's goat tear again. Have you banged your head lately? Sleepy Joe, true masterpiece in the Mario series that still holds up today versus modern games combining amazing gameplay with terrific art style and an exciting gaming world. Goat tier. Whatever, man. Why are we talking about goats? Are we having goat for dinner because I said I'm hungry? Can someone please explain it to me? Joe, 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 it just means the greatest of all time. G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. Come on, Joe, let's try and keep things positive. I don't want to have to lock you up in the cellar again. Perfect Dark? This game sucked him so bad at shooting games, and I just thought it was a sci-fi ripoff of Goldeneye. It's a great game, Obama. What are you talking about? Joe's right, Obama. Your fake news that sounds like something someone at CNN would say. Amazing shooter and well ahead of its time. It's going in great. Speaking of Goldeneye, again, another shooting game which I don't really like. However, I did enjoy the movie. Well, we're not rating the movie Obama, so get over it. I didn't ask for your life story and entire thoughts on the film world, so keep it to yourself. Goldeneye is a great game. Me and Ron DeSantis play it together to this day. The graphics, the movie nostalgia, it has everything okay. When we play multiplayer, we actually ban Oddjob because he's so short and makes it really hard to hit him. F-Zero, has anyone ever played this? I've never heard of it. Absolute trash Obama put in on the garbage pile. Have you played it? No, Obama, but do as I say already on the garbage pile, it goes okay. Are we ranking Call of Duty? Get with it, Biden, Call of Duty was not on the N64. Can you please just focus and get on with it? I really don't want to be around Donald for much longer. He's getting quite aggressive, and I think he needs a new diaper. Well, I feel the same way, Obama, but I'm a sensitive, polite individual with a kind heart, so I will not allow this to escalate or cause any drama, because that would not be desirable optics from the next president of the United States. That's very mature of you, Donald. Thanks. Pokemon Stadium, never played it, have you, boys? Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm putting it in good by default because it's a Pokemon game. Is that a legitimate tactic, Obama? Rating a game so highly without having played it? I don't mean to be an ass, but I make the rules, Joe. I'm the big dog, and you don't want to have a problem with me today. Anyway, Ocarina of Time, the first 3D Zelda game. Amazing game. It's got to be great, at least. I've played all the Zelda games. And even though this one's old, I know it's probably my favorite and the one I enjoy speedrunning the most. How long did it take you to speedrun it? Two weeks. Wow, that's fast. Garbage don't like it. You boys want to step outside and resolve it? You two are really starting to annoy me now, believe me. No, Donald, I'm not fighting you. I don't want to be crushed by that huge orange ass, so sit down and control yourself. Yeah, Donald, you're making a real fool of yourself. Just calm yourself down before I get the CIA to raid Trump Tower and take all your Diet Coke away. Whatever. Donkey Kong 64? This was just okay, in my opinion. The outdated level design doesn't resound with me when I come back to the game, so that's why I'm saying okay, but I'm open to having my mind changed. The first 3D Donkey Kong game, and a classic as far as I can remember, with a catchy theme tune and wacky, colorful characters. Great game, great mini-games, and fun, colorful environments and wacky characters with just the right amount of challenge. Donald looks a bit like Donkey Kong, in fact. Don't test me, Joe. I'm overruling you both. I'm putting it in okay. But Obama, this is a democracy here. No, it's not, Joe. It's my list, so shut up. I want a glass of milk. I just gave you some Twinkies and some freshly secreted mother's milk from one of my Secret Service officers. That's cool. It tasted good. Oh, my God, this is so dumb. I have no idea why I agreed to be here with you two fools. I could be planning the relaunch of Trump Stakes, but I'm wasting time talking about video games. What? What am I doing here? We're doing a Nintendo tier list, Joe, remember? No, I want to go home. Okay, we'll just chill and go with the flow, and we'll be done soon. Okay. Wave race, anyone? I think it's pretty garbage, to be honest. Small amount of garbage tracks, no replay incentive, and just a middle-of-the-road boring racer. So I'm saying, okay. It's garbage.
I agree with Obama. It's okay. Nothing special. Oh, of course you agree with your boyfriend. Shut up, Donald. I am the president of the United States. Remember, so show me some respect. Not for much longer, Sleepy Joe. I'm coming for you in 24, so watch out. Mario Party is good, I'd say. Boring game. I was never good at those mini games. Everything just happened so fast, and there was no way I could react in time. I'm the best at Mario Party. No one's better at Mario Party than me. I absolutely love it. Well, it's going in good hours of fun playing together with my buddies back in the day. Banjo-Kazooie, hopefully we can all agree this is an amazing game. Amazing platformer Obama with terrific graphics that still look cool today. A decent challenge, great art style, and a very funny script. One of my favorite games ever, to be honest. Hate to say it, but Donald's right. Banjo-Kazooie is another amazing game that would hold its own even if it came out today. Fantastic game, boys. Glad we can agree on that one. Super Smash Brothers. The first game in a series that has just gone from strength to strength. The original Super Smash Brothers was okay, nothing special. I like how the series has evolved since its N64 game, but I wasn't a major fan of this one. That's because you're probably so bad at it, Sleepy Joe. It's a good game, and it's amazing how the franchise has developed over the last 20 years. Good game. Good it is. What about Star Fox? Great game. I loved it on the Super NES, and they did a great job moving it onto what was at the time the new platform. A great shooter with loads of interesting missions and a universe that always felt really alive to me. Unlike you when the next election comes around. Oh, come on, Donald. Stop bullying him. One of these days, I'm going to make you regret the way you speak to me, Trump. Oh, yeah, big guy ID. Love to see you try. We got to wrap this up before things become too heated. I was hoping we two could behave for five minutes and help me do this tier list, but even that's proving difficult. Majoris's Mask. Another amazing entry from the Zelda series. It was so clever how the world featured the three-day cycle and you could move forward and backward through the timeline. Very clever idea, considering how old the game is. Obama's right. Majora's Mask is definitely goat tier better than Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. Regrettably, I have to agree. The game is amazing goat tier. I even remember that goat stands for greatest of something time. And last but not least for today, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. My mom wouldn't let me play it at the time when it came out back in the day because it had too much swearing and violence in it. When was this? 1932. Were you scared of the big bad video games, you big baby? Stop it, Donald. He's right. The game featured a lot of adult humor and themes that some people may have considered being for a mature audience. Having said that, I think it was a great game. There were a lot of great games out for the N64 Obama. It was hard to find anything that I didn't like. Amazing console. You're right, Donald. Anyway, if you've stayed with us for this long, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment because it really helps us in the algorithm. Goodbye, everyone. Later.